Hey guys, this is Aaron Carmen from AX Electronic here to announce the next project that this channel is going to be undertaking. Now, as you can probably already tell from the title, the next project is going to be an electronics tutorial series. Now, the reason I chose an electronics tutorial series is because in my experience, going into electronics is something that's unintuitive for your first time around. You know, it's something that I feel a lot more comfortable with now than I did the first time I heard all this material, so I want to present this to you in a way that I think makes it easier to understand and uh, present it to you in sort of a bite-sized way. That way you have plenty of time to just understand the concepts and then whenever you have to take a more comprehensive look at it, then you can uh, start taking that more comprehensive look while still understanding the basics really well. Okay. So <clears throat> before we start talking about what I specifically mean about an electronics tut tutorial series, I first want to talk about the uh, how the videos are going to be delivered. So the first big question could be, you know, the circuit analysis lecture series is over. When are these next videos going to be coming out? And the only thing I can tell you is that they're going to be coming out as soon as possible. So I'm going to be doing a new format with these videos. Uh, previously for the circuit analysis lecture series, what I did was I would record them, uh, schedule it, and then uh, start recording the next one. What I want to do for this uh, upcoming electronics tutorial series, though, is I want to record them all at once so you know I want to record all the videos and then I want to schedule them all at once and then I want to be able to take a step back from that just worry about answering comments answering questions and then focusing on the next project you know which could be any number of things we've got a couple of ideas so I wanted to sort of just keep some consistency in the upload schedule and doing them all in bulk and then setting the upload schedule will let me do just that and the reason I want that consistency is because I'm a college student and because of that, my schedule can get pretty hectic sometimes, so I might not always have the time to dedicate to make videos each week. So by doing this in bulk, I can ensure that you get a consistent upload schedule and that I also have time to work on the next project. So my current thoughts as far as the upload schedules goes is two videos per week, one on Tuesday and one on Friday. Again, that's just uh, my initial thoughts. If you think that it would be better to have maybe three videos per week, then please uh, leave that in the comments below. I'm more than happy to adjust the schedule if you, if you think it'd be more beneficial. Uh, but for right now, I'm thinking Tuesday and Fridays. Uh, again, if you have any objections to that, please let me know. Um, so yeah, so like I said, this is going to allow me to get all the material done all at once, and then I can start working on another series. So I can start writing out, uh, I guess, the curriculum for the next series, record those videos, and then hopefully there won't be really any layover at all where you're not hearing from me because I, I don't want there to be a you know a period of like a month or a, you know two months or something where you don't hear from me because I'm just recording videos so releasing these all uh, releasing these on a set schedule is going to allow me to record them all in bulk stay focused on the one single project and then once I'm done with it I can hand it off to you guys and uh, start working on the next thing so <clears throat> Now that we've sort of gotten the details out of the way, we can talk what is electronics. So today, electronics is a very broad term. Okay? So electronics you might mean something like a TV, it could mean something like a computer, headphones, a tablet, anything like that. That's all called electronics. Okay? But for us as engineers, what we're going to call electronics is we're going to call something that is uh, enabled by or uses semiconductors. Now, semiconductors are a special type of material that isn't quite a perfect conductor, isn't quite a conductor like copper or metal, and isn't quite an insulator like rubble or uh, like rubber. So it's somewhere in between, and it has some interesting properties that we can take advantage of in these circuits. So typically, the most basic sort of semiconductor circuits are going to be diodes and transistors, but we're also going to be talking about op amps because I think that that's sort of the most basic uh, electronics that you can use. You know, it's it's very useful for some uh, basic applications. But you also need to know the electronics that's going behind it. So that's why we're going to be also be talking about those diodes and transistors. So if we just look at a very <clears throat> simple example to see how these electronics are going to be different from circuits, let's just look at something that we just finished talking about in circuits, which is a filter. Now a filter is always going to attenuate something, right? It's never going to amplify it. So if I feed a signal through and it's in the pass band, it'll pass straight through with no change, ideally. And if, in the, if it's in the stop band, then it'll be attenuated by a certain amount. So it might come in up here, and then it'll be attenuated by the time it comes through that filter. Okay. Now, <clears throat> because of this, that means that our gain is between 0 and 1. This is something that we talked about in our, um, in our filters discussion. So our gain is between 0 and 1, so we can't actually amplify our, or our, we can't amplify our signal. So if we have a certain value of signal, that's sort of what we're stuck at with circuits. 
Now what we can do with electronics is we can actually amplify this signal. Okay, we can use some cool circuits to amplify this input signal. So if we have like a one kilohertz signal coming in that's really weak, we can amplify that to be a whole lot louder. Okay? So an amplifier, again, you can just think of that as something like a guitar amplifier. You know, if you play a very soft note going into that amplifier, it comes out a whole lot louder. Okay? So it's amplifier, that terminology is pretty simple. It's just going to amplify our signal, and that's one application of electronics. Okay? Another application could be something like an oscillator. So an oscillator is something that can actually create a certain type of signal. That might be, you know, a square wave, that could be a sine wave, it could be uh, any number of signals. It, it's, you know, really up to you. You can do uh, any number of things with these circuits, okay? So, <clears throat> like I said, knowing these, knowing how we can use these electronics really allows us to do some cool stuff in these circuits. So, the first thing that I'm going to show you, let me switch cameras here, is this. Now, this is just a microcontroller, and yeah, let me make sure that this camera gets focused. So this is just a microcontroller. You can see here it's called the Launch XL CC2640R2. I believe that's a two. And this is from Texas Instruments. And if we get a closer look at this, you know, let's look like around this IC. We can see that there's like these really tiny components like right here, right over here, right, you know, over here too. I mean, these are all, you know, super tiny. They're, you know, they're hard for me to make out. Um, they're hard for me to make out with my eyes, but you know, getting getting it close to the camera sort of helps you see those. But then there's also you can see this big you can see this big thing right in the center, this big sort of plastic package right in the center. What is this thing? Well, underneath that plastic, there's actually a whole bunch of transistors, and that is what's sort of enabling this microcontroller to do the things you know, we want it to do. Like we can have it do math. Uh, it's to do any sort of complex calculations. We can have it uh, flip its outputs. You know, if we have like a pin here, we can have it be five volts or we can have it be ground, depending on what we want. We can have this do any number of things, okay? And this is what's going to be enabling it to do those cool things, right? So this is what's going to be able to allow us to control certain things. So you can see that, yeah, there's quite a few, you know, resistors, capacitors dotted throughout here, but there's also this big IC. There's another little IC here. Uh, if we come look over this way, you, know, you can see, let me make sure there's no glare. See, there's this big IC right here, and it, you know, it actually has a ton of different pins on it. It'll focus on that. You can see it has a ton of different pins on it, and those are all going to allow us to do, to do some cool things in these circuits. Right here, if I plug this in, these are actually lights. So these two things are LEDs, and these would light up for us to let us know that the circuit is doing specific things. Uh, there's also, you know, some more smaller integrated circuits right here. We can call these ICs. So there are these smaller ICs right here. Okay, there's some even smaller ones like right over here, over here. So there's a lot of resistors, a lot of capacitors, and a lot of cool stuff that goes into the circuits. But the main, the main really components are things like this or this IC here. Okay, so that's what's going to allow it to do those cool things. Now, we were just talking about amplifiers and how they amplify our signal. And so I want to show you something that I had actually made. And this is something that you can make just with the knowledge that you're going to get from these electronics tutorial series. So you don't have to be, you don't have to have a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering to make something like this, right? This is a very simple circuit that you can make. So if we look at this, we can see that there is, again, this is a resistor. This little blue thing right here is a resistor. This is a resistor, resistor, resistor over here. This orange thing right here is a capacitor. So this is a capacitor. Um, again, this same orange thing over here. Oh, sorry, I got off screen. This right here is a capacitor as well. This thing will get focused. Yeah, this is a capacitor. Uh, this big blue thing right here with the little dial on it, what that is is that's called a potentiometer. And all it does is it allows me to, you know, turn it. And this is allowing me to change its resistance, okay? So I can turn this and change the resistance, which is going to change what this circuit does. Really what it's doing is it's changing how much it's amplifying the input signal in this case. Now at the center of this, you can see this, uh, again, this is an integrated circuit. You can make out the text on that. That's an LM358P. And so you can look up that, you can look up that integrated circuit and you'll see that it's just an op amp. Now this specific configuration is called a, you can call it a single supply or maybe a single rail op amp. This one's a little bit, a uh, little bit more advanced than the most simple amplifier, but uh, you know it's still not not too difficult to analyze. And this is something that we're going to be looking at in this series. So you'll be able to know how to make something like this really pretty quick into this electronics tutorial series. 
And what this does is that this is going to take an input from one of these wires and it's going to amplify it based on the value of this potentiometer, so where it's at. It's going to amplify that and send it to the output. Okay, so if I have just a really small input, I need it to be a little bit bigger, I can just use something like this. Now it also has this red and black wire here. Uh, typically these integrated circuits we have, they're going to need to be powered because they're active circuits. So we're going to have some sort of external power here. So like this red and black wire is going to be like 10 volts in ground or you know, just it's really anything like that. Okay, so this is, I just wanted to show you that this is something that you can make really with just a very basic knowledge. So you can already make some pretty cool circuits with just a very basic knowledge of electronics. Okay, so I just wanted to sort of show you that what we're going to be learning here is actually very useful in the engineering world and you can implement this in any number of product or any, any number of projects and the stuff you're going to learn here is also going to be a foundation for uh, many other areas of interest so you know if you're going to go into for example radio frequency electronics you know making wireless waves that can travel across the world then you're going to need to have a good understanding of electronics because amplifiers are very important in that field like I said, there's any number of things here, uh, not even in analog circuits too. So uh, things like, you know, if we go back, if we go back to the camera, things like this microcontroller. This is mostly digital circuits. Okay, so digital circuits. This is going to be doing again zeros and ones. This is going to allow us to do this math, and uh, pretty much all this is is that this is just a whole bunch of logic circuits. Okay, so a bunch of logic circuits in here, which allow us to do again those cool things like turn LEDs on and off. Uh, print something to a screen or you know anything like that okay, so electronics really is ever present in the field of electrical engineering you really can't escape it because it allows us to do so many cool things that uh, having this good knowledge of electronics is important no matter what field you're going to go into okay. so all of this electronics all of this information that we're going to learn in this upcoming tutorial series is going to be very beneficial and I'm very excited to uh, share this information with you you know, I'm excited just writing. Uh, I'm excited writing my notes for these uh, lessons. I'm excited to uh, start recording these videos because I know that as soon as I get them done, I can release them to you guys and that you guys can start learning and maybe even making your own cool projects along the way. So if you guys are excited, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, ring that bell, and you'll get notified as soon as that first video gets posted. <laughs> If you have any comments or any concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. I will read them. I will try and uh, take your input. So if you think that maybe, like I said, if we should have three videos per week instead of just two, let me know. I'm happy to take that advice. You know, I want this, I want this material to be informative to you, and I want you to get the most out of it. Okay? So guys, like I said, if you have any comments, please leave them for me. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Otherwise, I'm Aaron Carmen, and thank you for watching.